Never stare at the camera. You have to act like it's not there. <laughs> Akas is a local legend. It's a very family friendly cafe. It's almost like the last of a breed, really. I'll always try and avoid cafe chains. I'd much rather come to somewhere like, like yeah. Tommy's. <laughs> it's true. I hate those places. Is original old school. I've been here for 20 years. It's local, value for money, it's great food. Since 1948. Uh, this shop is a fish and chip shop. My family running since 1994. I take it over 2010. I hope my son carry on as well, but I don't think so. <laughs> I got a cousin, Vakas, is down there. He's running the coffee shop. Good cousin, to be honest. You know. You're not cousins. No, we are cousins, but we call each other cousins. <laughs> we both Kurdish. Friends. His delivery are all here. When it's short of oil, I give one oil to him. When I pass a fish, I just put it and grab one. I don't even ask him. So that's how it works. Always we spot each other, yes. It's more than just about serving the food. It's about them actually enjoying, feeling welcome, feeling happy. Sort of welcome, and it's really affordable. It's not kind of too normally and elitist, basically. <laughs> but also, really, really, really nice food. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. They're so friendly and understanding and always smiling. I like helping people, especially those who are vulnerable. Yeah. He has been a customer for 18 years. This was his second home. He treated me like his son, and I was often helping him. And he had a couple of more friends. Unfortunately, they all died from uh, old age. They sat there for like nearly four hours each day. So now they're gone. We miss them. Walton Stay is a good area. I can see the people, they help each other. How many years have you been oh, I know, I know, 17 years. Oh, yeah, more. So nice to meet all hour. of our children. He looks after us a lot. And also give me a report on the husband for eating too many fish and chips. <laughs> I've had a full English, yes, and I'm still even beginning to learn Turkish now. <laughs> it's our old neighbourhood culture. Back home, neighbours were very close. People used to help us the whole time. That culture had died. But we managed to keep it here. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>